What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Another day in the life of Marbella. This is what the people want, right? So today, I'm just warming up with a little coffee. Look at this Ireland mug that my dad got me. Looks like someone's having an acid trip on the front. But I notice when I have warm coffee instead of iced coffee, I don't down it. So it makes me go a little bit slower. It's November, it is kind of like the last official month of the year. December's always just a write off, everyone's all over the place. So what I like to do in the month of November, I try to get like everything boxed off before the end of the year. I try to have also a really good month of training. I try to have a really good month of nutrition. Kind of say no to everything, November, because in December, there's just always gonna be a lot of social events on. We're traveling back to Ireland. There's gonna be other travel as well. The new year, I'll tell you about that later. But there's always just a lot on and you're tying things up at the end of the year. So I choose November as a really good month to just kind of lock in. Another thing that I want to do while I'm not that busy or traveling is I want to just start banging out some more vlogs like this. And what I said in the comment section and I got like a lot of likes, which is, you know, just funny for like a random conversation in the comment section. Uh, someone said, you should just upload more casual videos. And I said, I've been overthinking things a lot recently. And I think this is a trend I like that for a while, YouTube, YouTube fitness was like, you have to make like these Mr. Beast style videos and now I think like people are bringing back vlogging you know Christian is just like bashing videos out on his new channel Sam Sulek love that guy I'll do like a full my full take on him in another video if you want but I think it's great to see I was actually just watching some videos from Andre Diu a good friend of mine and he's just like throwing stuff up on YouTube and I like watching that myself you know I like watching fitness vlogs that's kind of how I started for me I'm biased but I it's a trend I like to see as well so I'm gonna do it myself so today in the cards we've got a shoulder push day. So I have two push days, chest push day, and then shoulder push day. So today's gonna be shoulder focused with a little touch of chest. And <laughs> someone commented on the last video, they're like, you're always hitting push day. I put up a leg day in the last video. No one watches it. No one wants to see leg day. So we're doing a shoulder day today and we're gonna see how freaky I can get these delts looking. But I'm gonna chill out here for a little bit. It's the morning time, it just got bright. And then I've got an interview with a Marbella magazine, which is so cool as well. Like I still am a fan of like old school printed press or like even getting like on TV. It's not like that's gonna like make your business or your YouTube go viral. There's actually not much carryover, but it's just really cool to see. So the interview is about entrepreneurs in Marbella, which again is, you know, there's a lot of people here, just pr pretty much everyone here is an entrepreneur. And so I've got that now, and then we're gonna go get ready for the gym. So give video a thumbs up. Good to see you guys again. Hope you've been enjoying things. Hope life is going good. Let's get into the video. Ah, oh, she put ice in my pre-workout, how kind. <laughs> so this is our little morning routine. I'll get my pre-workout concoction ready. And what we'll also do, cause especially when I'm fasted, I'll go to the gym and I'll have the meal air frying up. So when we get home, it's kind of like very short term meal prep. When we get home, like the food is ready. So here we've got our chicken breasts cooking away and we are going to kill each other on who gets the bigger breast. I always say I should get the bigger one, I need it. And then we've got some peppers that we'll put on and then some lentil pasta. This this stuff is absolutely insane. The fact that I'm getting so excited over lentil pasta, it says a lot about the stage I'm in in my life. Per 100 grams, one gram of fat, 50 carb, 26 protein. The carb to protein ratio on pasta has never been seen before. It is insane. Obviously real pasta tastes better, but this is actually really, really nice. And then, okay, another wild hack. This is just, this is insane stuff, right? So pasta sauce is usually very sugary, very not macro friendly. So me and Linda at Villa Lipsa, we like to innovate, okay? So we picked up this vegetable soup and we've tried and tested this, okay? It sounds weird, but it works. Instead of like a green pesto sauce, we use this. Like this is like a huge, amount of, you know, liquid to make it all moist. And it actually ends up tasting amazing. There's other flavors as well. The butternut squash one is insane, that but. That courgette, so like you put courgette with pasta. Yeah, so it's exactly. So it, it actually tastes normal. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like soupy pasta or pasta soup. And so in the whole thing, there's 120 calories. So if I was to put like a whole jar of some pasta sauce on the pasta, it would be like 600 calories easy. So there's a little hack. This is from Mercadona, but I'm sure you can get stuff like this anywhere. Let's have a little look at the labels. And so we get to get shredded for Christmas while eating pasta. So that's gonna be the post-workout meal. I am gonna make my pre-workout. We are gonna do 
Hydration, we are gonna do, so this is burn. It's like, you know, a fat burner, but I mainly just use it as caffeine. I'm gonna do that as pre-workout. And then I'm also in my intra workout shake, I'm gonna put pump and size from Sarah Strips. Every time I have one of these, I think of Max. Max, if you're watching this video, I miss you. And I think about you every day when I take my pre-workout drink. So, gonna put these all together. Code Lipset for all Ghost products. You guys have been killing it with Code Lipset recently. Like, I think I've converted a lot of people to Ghost at this stage, but Code Lipset for all that good stuff. These are some products that I would recommend. And especially with this, like, I'm not saying this is gonna like burn loads of fat, uh, but it is a really nice pre-workout. It's not too filling. It's not like too chalky. It doesn't bloat you. And it does actually make you sweat more. There's some ingredients in it that I do actually notice myself sweat more, especially in the winter. It's kind of nice. So gym time, IO, shoulder day, post-workout lunch. It's a good time to be alive. All right, so just warming up with the 22s. So almost like a neutral grip with these. And again, I get like a full range of motion. So I'm touching the inside of my dumbbells to my shoulders. Like that's like the main thing with dumbbell pressing is everyone half reps it. It's such an ego lift if you want it to be. So don't flare the elbows, nice deep contraction and like so, like a semi-neutral grip. You don't want to be out here flaring, just like this. And push it back almost. All right, so let's work up to 35. Pump cover is coming off. Can hardly get the jumper off. All right, so this is 36. Let's see how we do. Do you think we can do 40? Yes. I think we can do 40. Oh my God, that shoulder pump is just ridiculous already. All right, let's go 40. Oh my. Last one, come on. Oh, <laughs> almost. And that's how, when you aim for eight reps, like that's how it should look. Like you should be just getting those eight reps. Happy with that set. All right, so usually I would do lateral raises and isolation movement towards the end of the workout. But these are just such a good shoulder builder that I actually want to prioritize them and put them near the beginning of the workout. So we're doing these with the cable here. A slight lean, I always grab onto the machine to just get a bit more sturdy. And then you're just punching out. And I kind of look this way, kind of see if I'm hitting the right height. And straight away, switch to the other one. All right, so finally we're on some chest. This is a shoulder emphasis day, but of course with a push day, you gotta add in some chest as well to keep that muscle protein synthesis elevated throughout the week. So really good movement. This is like an isolateral chest press machine, but it's kind of converging. And they've got this really rare neutral grip, which I absolutely love. So when your shoulders like are pretty pumped and pretty worn out, this is like a breath of fresh air. Like if I was to do like flat bench right now, it would be pretty weak and I'd feel a lot in my shoulders, but this is like very chest focused, so yeah. Okay. All right, so moving on, we have the world's most underrated exercise, and that is face pulls. These are gonna not only build up your traps and your rear delts, but they're just so good for shoulder health. And it's come from, coming from someone who's had a lot of shoulder problems as well, so. Clearly, you're gonna go high rep on these, you're not gonna do a one rep max on face pulls. <laughs> I was just picturing how that would look like. But so, I'm gonna put it just at about face height. Actually, probably a little bit lower. Just about here. And some people like to grip it like that and pull it towards their face with kind of a, a handlebar grip. Other people like so. And I prefer doing it like this. You kind of end up with doing like a back double bicep movement, just like so. So you can do a movement like this pull towards your face like that, or you can do a kind of back double bicep movement like this. I kind of prefer doing it this way. And you're literally just, I just act like I'm doing a back double bicep or a Superman pose, just like so. 
and don't forget to really squeeze at the top as well. Killer exercise. Killer. Do your face pulls. All right, so next up to just really round off the delts. We're gonna do some rear delt flies. You do these on a pec deck, you do these with dumbbells. I've recently started doing them on a cable attachment. I actually got this inspiration from Mike. Shout out Mike. See, he's always doing these. And it's, they're an absolute killer. You wanna go super light on these though. And then come across, grab here. There's no need for any attachments. So now we're just gonna finish off with triceps and we're done for the day. All right, so finish up with some skull crushers. So the way I'm doing these, you can do them like on an actual skull crusher bench. But I think if you put the bench on an incline, it almost feels better. So don't take skull crushers too literally. Like you don't have to put it to your head. I actually touch my shoulders here. So I go right here. You can see your triceps are getting a full stretch. So it's kind of like, think about, I think I, I, think I did the machine in Equinox in that Miami vlog, and you'll see it's like, it patterns that exact same movement. So you kind of lock in like so. And... Oh my God. All right, so let's do one more set of them. Feels so good. God, lying, oh shit. All right. Oh my God, done. I'm absolutely done. Toast. You know when your muscles, they, they just like, they're done. Like it's the end of the workout, like you know. So that is it. And I'm already dreaming that lentil pasta. So it's time to go home, it's about 1 p.m. have an A today. So, starving. Let's eat. I am so hungry, it is not even right. Okay, so simple meal, right? Three components. And I always say, right, the key to cooking, what taught me how to learn how to cook, macro-friendly stuff, hit my macros, okay? Three components of a meal most of the time. Carb source. In this case, we have pasta. You can do rice, noodles, whatever, okay? Protein source. In this case, we have chicken breast. So you can do chicken, lamb, beef, turkey, whatever, okay? So just take those boxes. And then a veg source. So in this case, we have peppers. And then for fats as well, we also have some pine nuts. It's gonna flavor it really well. So first of all, we are gonna put the peppers in with the pasta mix that's in there as well. So let's put the protein to the side for one second. And then next we have the soup. Let's give that a smell. That'll actually go really well with pasta. Okay, so this is gonna flavor the meal. And then we're gonna give that a really good mix. Oh my God, look at that already. Look, look in there. That looks amazing. And then lots of salt and pepper. All right, so there is our base. That looks fantastic. Let's give that a little taste test without the protein because not everything has to have protein in it. Unreal, unreal. Percy, I'd add a bit of spice to that. Let me add a little bit of spice. I know Linda doesn't like the spicy things, so I'm gonna add some hot sauce to my plate. That is unbelievable. I'm gonna do out two bowls of that and then put chicken on top of it. Usually I would just mix it all in, but it kind of looks a little bit more aesthetic when it's like sliced on top. So I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, so post-workout meal. I think that looks phenomenal. So it is some fake pasta. I apologize to any Italians watching this. It is lentil pasta with soup for sauce. Every Italian's just gonna unsubscribe to this channel, but look, macro friendly, it tastes delicious. I already ate a little bit from the pot and I actually think that looks pretty good and pretty presentable. So gonna go hard on this now. I'll see you guys in the next meal. All right, so Aldi all, let's go. We got the usual rice cakes, a bodybuilder classic, fish in a rice cake. We got some rocula. The only purpose of this is to make your meals look fancy. That is it. It is seasoning, it is garnishing, complete nothingness right there. Okay, we got some mushrooms. These are actually beasts. These are one of the, how do I say, most voluminous vegetables you can eat. There is pretty much nothing in these. They're healthy, nutrient dense, they'll bulk up the meal. 
I like the flavor of them as well, but they hate it. Um, don't eat this. Um, I'm not sure if the macros, but I'm sure if you ingest too much of this, you are gonna have some issues. Did you put this in here? <laughs> Did you? I'm trying to cut. I'm trying to do my pre-Christmas cut, Linda. What is this? Style con chocolate. <laughs> St Aldi cereal. Style with chocolate. There we go. All right, so that, that looks. Oh, so Joe told me I should start pronouncing like the Spanish a little bit more. So seven vitaminas and hierro, hierro, con chocolate nepro, fuente de fibra, lots of fiber. I'm actually I can I do understand everything. I just can't speak it. Red pepper. Lie, jeez, this is another Linda choice. <laughs> it's all like baby. <laughs> this is like a kid's meal deal. Okay, these are amazing. We're probably gonna have these tonight. New protein ice cream alert. So in the whole tub, there's like, oh, it's not that good. <laughs> oh, it's not that good. Always read the fine print. I saw 200 calories and I'm like, in the whole tub. It is 300 grams in the whole tub and that's per 100 gram. So 600 calories in the whole thing. I think the Mercadona ones are lower. Yeah, the Mercadona right? ones are like three or half this. See, you might as well just eat some Ben and Jerry's. Always read the fine print. That is why tracking macros, if you do it for a month, it will set you up for life. Again, this is the unhealthiest grocery shop ever. Linda got some chocolate chips because we're gonna make some chocolate baked goods later. It's the weekend. Still in our soup grind. We got the butternut squash. Gonna make some more pasta with that. Berries. Again, perfect for some fuel cakes. These are pretty cool. So I saw these. These are like quinoa and bulgur rice. It's just kind of a nice little alternative to just having like rice on the side. They kind of look nice, they're flavorsome, and they've got a lot of fiber in them as well. And a little bit of protein if you're a vegan, you count those like little irrelevant proteins in rice and potatoes. <laughs> The classic eggplant emoji, an array of condiments. We got some protein pudding, some skier, some broccamole. <laughs> broccamole. Broccamole. So that like, Show I think that's, camera? yeah, it's I've pretty good. Pretty, pretty uh, macro friendly. It looks like guacamole made out of broccoli. Why can't they just leave things alone? <laughs> why can't, gua why do us fitness weirdos Always like, like, let's get guacamole and absolutely fucking ruin it with broccoli. Cause that's what we, that's what we like to do. Can't just eat like 10 more calories just to eat guacamole. Some classic milk, turkey meatballs. We've already planned out this meal for later in the week. And so there's some pretty friendly tomato sauce as well. It's mainly like veggies. Again, just read the fine print on these. There was like some terrible ones that look the exact same, just full of sugar. So it's like triple the carbs. This one seems good. And then some cacahuete. I know that means peanut butter. And some skewers that I'm gonna put on the barbecue. So that's it, this is a classic Rob Lips at Grocery Hall. <laughs> Not bad, eh? One take. There's no better man that can commentate on groceries than me. So Aldi Espana, hit me up. Aldi Ireland, where are you at? You want this on your team. All right, so for dinner, we're having fuel cakes. The secret's out. I don't actually eat fuel cakes for breakfast. I have them for dinner every single day. Breakfast foods at dinner, it's the best. We have our salted caramel mix, and look at that. We are doing the patented two pan technique. Okay, so that's how you get them perfect. Let me show you what's going on right here. Yeah, I know these are already gonna be good. So I get impatient, I try to cook them on like a high heat. Oh my God, did you hear that? See when it's sliding around the pan? That's how you know it's ready. Just like that, simple as. So we're gonna repeat the process maybe five times and then we got some crazy toppings, okay? We got the bell stuff. Classic Milky Bar brings me back to my childhood. And then we got some health going on as well. We got some berries. So I saw this hilarious trick on TikTok. Let's see if it works. You boil the water, okay? Like so. Then you put this in it. And apparently it melts and you squirt it out. So stay tuned to see how it goes. Eat my own pancakes, watching The Rock and Joe Rogan. This is it. This is a perfect end to the day.
All right, guys, so it's the end of the day. I'm just back up in the office, got the little mood line on. I try to get as much work done as possible early on in the day, but sometimes there's just a few bits in the evening that you gotta finish off. So a few online clients I have that you know, work until the evening time, so this is the only time to really catch up with them. But I was also talking earlier on LinkedIn about, I don't know if anyone's on LinkedIn. If you are, add me, I'll accept you as a friend if that's how it works, I'm still figuring it out. But I was writing about community and how before thinking of a business or before launching a coaching program, an ebook, an app, I put out three years of free content. I talked about every single topic. I addressed every single myth. I covered everything. And that is my biggest piece of business advice is give, give, give before you put the hand out and ask for something in return. And if you do it that way, instead of back the front, so many people, they, they launch a business and it's like, why, why should you have customers already? You know, what have you done for your community, be it your local community or the online community? And oftentimes, if you do build this community, a business idea will be presented to you anyways because people will be asking you questions and you are just answering the question that you get asked the most. So just some little random thoughts that have popped into my head that I'm gonna be including in these vlogs a lot more because sometimes I'm like, hey, this one meal I'm eating, uh, this is what I'm training today, uh, you know, this is where I'm going next, but like I need to just pick up the camera and start speaking about my thoughts more so and what goes on in my brain. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap things up here. I'll see you in the next one. I enjoyed today. I enjoyed filming this vlog and looking forward to posting it. So see you guys in the next one. Peace, thank you.